If you're coming to BTT for the first time, we're going to go over a few things you might want to know. First thing you're going to see, if you're coming from Ridge down Remsen Road, that's west to east, you're going to see this sign. So it'll come down the driveway. We ask that you leave the gravel clear for anybody uh, picking up and dropping off. Park on the grass, try to leave room for others. Once you get to the end of the driveway, you'll be greeted by one of our courteous staff members. If we're not here, it's because we're playing, but our games all last 20 minutes or less, so if you just wait, we'll be with you shortly. We require hard mouth protection and ANSI rated full seal goggles. Please have your goggles ready for inspection and your, your mouthpiece, and please also have your uh, gun with the magazine out and .2 BBs loaded ready for the chrono. After you're all signed in and your gun has been chronoed, you can head to our staging area, which is in the far back left corner of the field. Now keep your magazines out of your gun, your finger off the trigger, and please try to be courteous and don't barrel sweep people in the staging area and stay behind the tarped area while games are in progress. If you need to go past the tarp wall for any reason, and like to test fire your gun, make sure you put your mask on first. Before re-entering the staging area, make sure you take your magazine out and clear your chamber into the ground. One of the unique features about BTT is the building. The building has a, a few special rules, as in the simulated roof. The building has jump through windows just don't hang on the shutters one of the coolest features of the building are the kick-in doors we use OSB as locks and they can be kicked in go ahead There's a second floor observation deck. It's for the referee only though. If you do King of the Hill games here, when you're raising your color flag, grab the rope, not the flag, you'll pull it off. Grab the rope and move it to raise your flag. During the crackheads game, we use training zip ties to keep the crackhead secure. You can't escape from the training zip ties yourself, but you can steal a weapon while you're in the zip ties. Direct contact of a BB anywhere on your body is considered a kill and you must call yourself out and use your dead drag. Call your hits! To heal an injured player with our field specific uh, bottles you need to have both hands on the player hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle with the cross facing up until the bottle has completely drained. Don't squeeze the bottle because you will break them. Neither the dead person nor the medic healing them may shoot during this process. Here you go. Call your hits, maggot! A safety kill is for when you could shoot someone but choose not to as a courtesy. Safety kill. A knife kill works much in the same way as a safety kill. Knife kill. If you're not sure who has the drop on who, then just try to aim for the vest. Call your hits! You cannot safety kill with a weapon that you would not be allowed to shoot someone with in the building. If you cannot see what you're shooting at, you're not allowed to shoot it. We do not allow blind fire. If you're dead, the only things you can say are dead or medic. And remember, don't take your goggles off during a game for any reason. On the east side of the field, there's a straight path that acts as a hard boundary for that side of the field. On the west side, just make sure you're not more than 40 feet 
away from a bunker to ensure that you're within the boundaries of the game. During the game, we have three whistle commands. One whistle is to start the game. Two whistles is to pause the game. Three whistles is to stop the game. If you hear three whistles, remove your magazine and clear your chamber. On the rare occasions that there is an emergency on the field, we will use two whistles to pause the game. If you hear two whistles, please just stay where you are at. You will either hear one whistle to continue the game or three whistles to end the game once the issue is resolved. In general, games don't last longer than 20 minutes. And in general, whenever you have a respawn point, you respawn in three-man teams only. One medic variant that we use is called the combat medic. When we use combat medics, everyone is a medic, but they only get to heal one time. When they heal, they use both hands for 30 seconds. Neither the medic nor the person being medic can shoot during this time. Remember, when re-entering the staging area, first remove your magazine and clear your chamber. Put your gun on safety and keep your finger off the trigger. Then you can enter the staging area and take off your mask. And call your hits.